I'm Anna, and this is the third episode of Cosplay Evolutions by Bungie Productions. Today we're going to talk about Alfred F. Jones, aka America, the person near to and dear to my heart because he was the very first cosplay I ever did. If you want to skip around for like a tutorial or uh, skip the backstory and all that stuff, timestamps will be on the side right here as I put them in now. Alright, let's move on to the first part. So first a little background on how I got into Italia and how I really got into Alfred. You see, I was a wee baby freshman in high school it, back in 2014, 2015, and um, I just met B at the time. And she mentioned the fact that she liked Italia, or at least she watched it. And I was like, oh okay, we were in the same anime club, so we talked. After school one day, I was doing homework and I saw that it was on Hulu and I was like, well, whatever, I'll put it on for background noise. And I specifically remember Italy saying something. I don't remember what he said, but I remember it caught my attention and I was like, what the heck was that? And I played the clip again and I was like, oh, this is actually quite interesting. I find this a little funny. So I ended up watching the entire series and that's actually how me and B ended up bonding a little which is amazing to me. I think that's really sweet. Alfred specifically, I think I just related to Alfred a lot because at the time, and I'm still uh, like this, he, uh, he's very much a person to go be like, hi, how are you? I'm gonna be in your space and I'm gonna be right this now. And I'm very much that kind of person where I'm like, hello, hi, how are you? I'm gonna talk your ear off for five minutes and then let you talk. So. I just really related to Alfred in that way, and I liked his character, so I was just like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll cosplay him because we end up uh, going to our first convention through Anime Club. It was a field trip, and we went to Anime Boston uh, 2015, and it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Um, it was the first time we ever vlogged. It was the uh, actually before Bungie Productions was a thing, and it was just... It was just a lot of fun. It was the first time I cosplayed, first time vlogging, and it was the first time we did group stuff and first convention. It was just, it's dear to my heart. <laughs> which brings me to our next segment, which is costumes. So for his costumes, I actually have three of them. Some, two of them have issues uh, that I'm currently working on fixing, and then the last one is casual. So I ha it's my clothing that I have on hand. So first is his normal costume, which I actually got for my birthday because my birthday falls around con season. So I asked my mom for my first cosplay for my birthday. <laughs> this is Alfred's top half. I'm not showing you the bottom half because the pants don't fit and I don't have his shoes. I usually wear wear Converse with it for shoes uh, in general and I haven't found any revolutionary shoes, just a heads up. So for his layers, by the way, this costume gets real hot. His layers would be his jacket, which has the star on it, and then the 50 on the back, and the fur trim. And it actually zips up, and it has buttons on the top and the bottom. And it's a little scrunched up on the bottom, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then the fake belt, it velcros in the back, although this buckle is real. And the suit which has snaps and fake buttons, but real pockets, which is real nice. I can keep my iPhone in here, actually. That's, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and then his green tie, which I haven't untied since I got this thing. And then this button up, which I've used for many other costumes that don't include Hitalia. I've used this for James, actually. For his second costume, it would be revolutionary. And I'm missing pieces. <laughs> For his second costume, we have his jacket, which is delightfully comfortable to wear, actually. Uh, it has a zipper right here, so it goes, it doesn't go down all the way, but if I like need to like zip up, it's nice. Um, this thing, which I'm planning on sizing down just a tad, because I just don't like how big it is. It looks really big on me and just makes me look tiny, um, which generally goes for the coat. Uh, I'm planning on altering this a little bit, so nipping this down a bit, because the sleeves are really wide, and then nipping the waist a bit. And then this. This I've used for, my friend has used this for Austria, and I can actually show you a picture right here. 
And uh, that's generally it. The only notable thing about this shirt would be that it's really lacy and I love it. But that's generally it about this costume. And then for the casual, this is generally what I wear for him. It'd be a red flannel and then jeans and like a t-shirt or something sometimes in Converse. That's, it's really comfortable to wear and the majority of time when I'm cosplaying Alfred I'll wear this because when we're filming we generally do it in like a normal like modern setting because it's just easier sometimes. But sometimes I do whip out like normal Alfred if I need to but the last time I've done that was 2016. So like my costumes, I actually have three different sets for his glasses. Reason being, A, I either want to change up his look, or B, I lost them, which is true. For his first set, as you can see, they are frameless like his, uh, Texas is, or at least Texas is frameless on top. His glasses have frames on the bottom, and this is as close as I could get. I've had these since I was in sixth grade, because I actually do use glasses in real life. If I didn't have these in the past, though, I would use these. These are my least favorite out of the three. Honestly, I hate them. <laughs> uh, they're just really black and bulky, but the reason why I actually grabbed them is because that they are square, and I just thought it looked a little cartoony to have the black line right here. Plus, they have rhinestones on the side, so that's nice. But Honestly, I really don't like these, which is why I use these. <laughs> these glasses are actually my last uh, set of prescription glasses that I use for day to day, and I do use them sometimes when I can't find my other two sets. I lose my glasses a lot. <laughs> um, these are thin, and they just give me a very Alfred vibe with the light blue and just very bright attitude, I guess it would be the word, plus they are square, so that's, that's, that's something to note. Like his glasses, he has variations in his wig. So for his first wig, I used this flat, stinky, you can tell I hate it, <laughs> wig that I sold on eBay about two years ago for his uh, Nantucket, or his cowlick. It was this piece of hair, like like the, basically this like little strand of hair that would be tied up in a rubber band and used with a wire. I think I took the wire out at one point because I used gel and stuff to try to keep it, to make it stay up. Saying that, I also bought on eBay a different wig, which I use now. I love this wig. I think it just frames my face a bit better, and it's fluffy in the back, and I like fluffy things. The best thing about this wig, I would say, would be the bangs, because they're just a lot more full, and generally this wig is a lot, just a lot more full. And then, Nantucket is just great because of the fact that it came pre-styled, though recently I just restyled it to be able to stay up, because the only issue when it came in was it wouldn't stay up like it is right now. Um, I didn't know what got to be glue was when I first started cosplaying, now I do. <laughs> In saying that, Alfred's makeup has changed over the years, but I'm going to show you the most recent version for his makeup, and now you get to see the transition. Bye! So the first thing you might want to do is cover up that fluffy hair of yours, or in my case, just that mound of fluff that is on my head, with a wig cap. I usually actually pin the top of my wig cap first, and then I go ahead and pin near my forehead, by my ears, and in the back of my head. And honestly, it doesn't matter what color bug pens you use, it's gonna be in a wig anyway. Next thing I do is I use Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation um, in the color 112, and I actually follow my cheekbones in a way. I kind of do it in almost a triangle, and then I, I just paint that on, and then I blend it in with a beauty blender. Little tip, by the way, if you use the cap and just pour it into the cap in a little circle, you actually save a lot more foundation that way. So now I'm just going to blend it out with that beauty blender, and make sure you don't see any strokes or anything like that. The next thing you need to do is use a wet and wild eyebrow brush with a spoolie on the end 
and it has to be in the color light brown uh, it's purely because Alfred is blonde as you can see I have very dark hair and very dark eyebrows so it's not gonna match perfectly but that doesn't matter it's gonna hide in the wig so whenever it does peak you'll just see brown I like to use my foundation if I make a mistake it actually helps shape my eyebrows a little better and I, it allows me to fill them as much as I can while also if I make a mistake again I'll just use my foundation to cover that up Next thing you need to do, something I forgot to do at the beginning, which is make a base on your lips because you are going to actually go over that with lipstick later. But for now, you just got to make sure you have no lips. And then you continue with the eyes. You're going to use the color copper with an angled brush that is kind of fluffy and or like a copperish color and put that on the corner of your eyes. Don't put too much, but like put enough to where it kind of looks like you contoured your eyes out. The very next thing you want to use is a liquid eyeliner and a cream eyeliner. The liquid eyeliner is the main thing you want to use. You want to make a small, I want to emphasize, small wing to kind of get that anime eye effect. Usually when you make anime eyes, you would use white eyeliner, but for this I generally do not. The cream eyeliner is actually, because I'm not very good at using liquid eyeliner and liquid eyeliner is a little more permanent. So I will go on and if I can't get to or if I feel like I can't get to a certain crevice on my eye, I will actually go ahead and use the cream eyeliner kind of as like a outline and then I will go over and color that in with the liquid eyeliner. All right, now that my eyes are done, let's move on to the contour, AKA making myself look a little more like a man. I'll be using Elf's contour palette and a flat angle brush, and I'm gonna be using the edge of that brush to create the contour line under my cheekbones. I'll be following my cheekbone and then I'll be following it down and then I will follow my jawline and contour that out as well. After I'm satisfied with that, I'll blend it out if it's a little too dark and then I'll go in with a angled eyeshadow brush and contour my nose and my eyebrow modes. Then I'll go in with highlighter and highlight my cheekbones and my nose until I am satisfied. After I'm satisfied with my contour and I have blended it all out and I'm nice and shiny from my highlighter, I'll go in with a Clinique pinkish, like almost my skin tone lipstick and pat it. I do not smear it across your lips, just pat it and then use your finger to smear it across your lips. You want as little lipstick on your lips as much as you can. And then you'll go in with a red color that is semi-pink and you'll basically almost contour the middle of your lips and then if you're not satisfied with that and you want your mouth to be a little bit smaller or slimmer, you can go back in with foundation like I'm doing here. And now that I'm satisfied, I'm gonna put it on my wig. You gotta make sure you put it from the back to the front first using uh, two fingers to apply the tabs and then you just dial it and put it on your glasses and that's basically it. All right, time for costume reveal. Am I your hero? No, seriously though, this is actually quite a throwback for me. Cause this was was my first was and is my first cosplay ever. And putting it on with this little number. I haven't done that till this video. And honestly, it was just such a moment to do that. Like <laughs> It was an amazing experience and I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and the tutorial portion, the wig portion and all that. All the links for stuff I've talked about will be in the description. Um, some of them will not be the exact thing I found in the past, but it'll be something very close. And uh, if you enjoyed this, we have more. We have some wonderful episodes right here. 
And that's all. <laughs> I hope to see you guys next time and bye-bye.